Hey everybody, what's up? This is the Penguinoid, and look what I have. That's right, I bought Crusader Kings 2, um, and I'm going to be doing a playthrough of one of the factions in it. So, which faction should I play as? Well, obviously, as you can see, I am swamped for choice. I can play as almost everyone on this map. I downloaded Sword of Islam, so I can play as the Muslim factions, but I don't think I'm going to. Um, instead, I'm going to take on a challenge that this game tells me is almost impossible. I am going to play as King Harold of England. Now, it's ranked as almost impossible because of these two events right here. The invasion of William the Bastard and the invasion of Harold Hardrada of Norway. And... The effect that has is it's two massive armies invading my lands at once. My army that I start with is large enough to defeat either one in battle, but not both of them. So, I have a, an ingenious plan to win, so let's get right into it. Now, the thing about this situation is that both wars are claims on the Kingdom of England. So, that means that technically the Duke of Normandy and the King of Norway are technically at war with each other as well as with me. So I'm going to use that to my advantage. I'm going to see if I can get um, if I can get William the Bastard to take out Harold Hardrada for me and I can just sweep in and pick up the pieces. Um, so obviously you you probably want, right here you're like, oh I have a larger army, I have pretty good military leadership, I can just sweep in and destroy them. That is exactly what happened in history. King Harold II attacked um, Harold Hardrada at Stamford Bridge. He defeated the Norwegian army. But then, as a result, he did not have a, uh, King Harold II, that is, did not have enough of a force to go down and face this guy right here, William the Bastard, who destroyed the Saxon army at Hastings. King Harold II is killed tragedy for England. Not really, actually, because the Norman influence is arguably one of the most important cornerstones of current English culture. But we don't want that to happen. I want to maintain a Saxon rule over England. So here's how this is going to happen. We're going to march down to Middlesex, which is where William the Bastard would normally land, but we're going to force him to land probably at Sussex or Kent. And while that's happening, let's <laughs> let's just take a look at the level of screwed that England really is right now. Um, my domain is too big, as you can see, which causes unhappiness and less income. I have unlanded sons. Um, I might not retain Northumberland. And above all else, I have this freaking army destroying everything. And I'm about to have another one. Um, yep, loud and clear. Alright, so I'm going to set my ambition to become exalted among men because it should... Stop it. Why are you doing that? It should be fairly easy to get a thousand prestige if I win both wars. Um, so yeah. Um, I'm going to run into debt eventually. I'd have to guess. Um, oh, Jesus. Uh, so yeah, that's pretty serious. Um, yeah. Yeah. So it's things aren't looking too good, um, but we'll see. We'll see if I can pull this off, right? Okay, so I'm going to wait for the Norman army to unload at Kent, which they will do soon enough. Um, I don't. I don't think. I think they have closer to twelve thousand soldiers actually, so it might not even be over yet. Um, as terrifying as that is, maybe I could be wrong. Yep, there's the last of them. And once their army is unloaded, I'm going to start heading up north to... As though I was going to go attack his army. So let's head out to... Let's head to Northampton, actually. That's where I'd want to go. Straight north. And I'm kind of terrified to fast forward it, because if either army starts to you know, move unexpectedly, I would just die if they got a head start 
on my maneuvering, and that would probably lead to horrible things happening. Um, we can only guess. Okay, so they're just saying, screw it, we're just going to bludgeon the Christ out of this city. They're currently beating down the walls as we speak, and off they go. Okay, so we're going to go to Leicester, then keep luring them north. No, we're not going to go to Leicester, because they're going to go to Leicester. Okay, we're going to go to Warwick, and they're going to go to Middlesex. Okay. All right. Okay. We'll see. <laughs> Sorry, if I don't speak a whole lot, it's because I'm really freaking concentrated on not dying completely. Okay, they're gonna. Okay, okay, and okay. So now we're gonna go to Derby, hopefully, if they'll let me. Which so? Oh, oh, wait, no, I can still go to Derby. Okay. Ah, uh, okay, maybe not. Okay, no, they're gonna go to Derby. So I'm gonna go to. <laughs> I'm gonna go this way. Um, which is good because he's going north. Nope, just kidding, he's going to Oxford. Okay. Um, I'm concerned because Oxford borders where I'm about to go to, but it doesn't look like that should be too much of a problem. Yeah, see? So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. Um, 28th, and he's gonna arrive there on the 27th. Okay. So, so far, so good. Um... King, oh Jesus, okay, so far not so good actually. I might just have to... Okay, he's still headed for... Nope, there it goes. Okay. Okay, he really doesn't want me to escape. <laughs> Crap. Oh no. Okay, how am I gonna... Okay, and what if I go into Wales? Let's see how that works out for me. Okay, so he's chasing me, which is what I do want. Um, Alright, I'll see how I'm gonna... Oh god, this is gonna suck. See, because he wants to attack me, which is stupid, because he doesn't have as good as an army. Okay, good, he's doing that. He's gonna arrive in Shrewsbury soon. Okay, I should be able to escape north while he's occupied with attacking that place. And... Yeah, okay. Yep, you guys can marry. I don't care. He wants to go to... Preferred Wald. <laughs> also a warning, I'm probably gonna horribly butcher several names of things because I don't speak Welsh. Um, holding an Oxford, yep, siege, 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 and Edmund of Godwin wants to become Chancellor. How nice. Okay, well, uh, okay. So maybe once he sees that I'm gonna, no, he's just hanging out, no, okay, alright, um, let's keep going. Shh, stop it. Okay. Okay, is the chase on for them yet? Okay, he's gonna arrive in Lancaster. Okay, I'm gonna be out of there by then, though, so that's... Okay. Alright. Oh, he's also gonna arrive in Lanc... <gasps> oh, we may have sprung the trap, except I'm currently right in the middle of it. Oh, buddy! Okay, never mind. I didn't do it. Okay, is he... Oh, God. Alright, screw it. I'm just going into Scotland. I don't even care. Oh, don't do it. Okay, that's not going to be a big army. Okay, so 20th February. They're going to arrive in Durham, and they're going to head to Westmoreland. Okay, so maybe I should march this way and see if I can't get them to meet. God, this is like a horrible game of tag or something. I don't even know. Oh, what just happened? Oh, I lost. Aw, oh, man. Dang it! Is that part of... Is that... Okay... That is part of my kingdom. God, okay, well. That can wait. Cut! Yes! This is what I... Okay. Oh! It's gonna happen! Oh, sweet sugary goodness. Okay, here's what's gonna happen. I'm gonna march back over here. Oh! It's all coming together, folks. Look at that crap. 
Yeah, this is going to be an epic battle. And there it is. The battle has begun. I'm just going to sneak into here while they're not looking. And I'm prepared to just obliterate whichever army is left standing. And then I'm going to obliterate the other one. It's going to be awesome. Okay. Just have to give it some time. It looks like uh, looks like our friend Harold's a bit screwed. Now, if he flees, I'm not sure where he's going to flee to, which is a bit of a problem. Um, oh, come on, Harold! Put up more than put up more of a fight than that. You, oh, come on, you're disgusting. I guess the good news is that they've routed one of their fly. Oh, okay, never mind. Ah, Jesus Christ! All right, well, my wife's dead. <laughs> on top of everything else, Jesus Christ. Alright, let's... Let's, uh... Oh, Jesus. Let's get a bride. Freaking nobody. I can marry a princess who, who's literally 30 years younger than me. That's about it. Oh, Jesus. What does this world come to? All these people are courtiers, and I can't marry a courtier because... Oh, maybe I won't lose things from marrying a courtier. Oh, okay. That's not... That's good news. Okay. Alright, well, let's see who has a really high stewardship skill, and then we'll make our decision from there. Um... Okay, she... Her. I'm gonna marry her. Just kidding, I'm not gonna marry her. Okay. Um... <laughs> crap. God. This freaking sucks. But if I married her, I wouldn't. But she... Okay, whatever. We're gonna marry her. Okay. Okay, so these guys are screwed. I have no idea where they're gonna flee to. Um... Yeah, no, people respect wealth. Yes, yes. Okay. Okay, good. Harold is headed to York. So that's where I'll go. He's headed for Northumberland. Where's Northumberland? Is that... That's not... He... Huh. That's interesting. Okay! Um... Alright. I actually... I have to stop because... I've gone a bit over the time I wanted to take, but... You can see this is how it works. This is how you survive both invasions. Um... So, pretty much after this, it's just gonna be cleanup. <laughs> Alright, so uh, thanks for watching, and in the next episode you will see me finish off both um, factions. So uh, thanks for watching, and I will see you next time. Goodbye.